welcome back everybody to our Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. Um, last time while we were playing, we were exploring the lady, the old hag's um, her little hut there, and we ended up defeating her. But sadly, we lost Marina. So now we have Marina's locket right here, I'm trying to save her. Uh, yeah, I'm still bummed about that. But anyway, so the reason why we're back at our camp is because I went back here um, after looting a bunch of stuff in her hut. And then I came back here just to sell some stuff to Volo. And so what we ended up doing is uh, buying more potions, which we then handed off to Gale and stuff. But um, then I went into long rest so we could get a good start on the day. And then I forgot that we were going to long rest and we were going to celebrate with our fellow tieflings. So I guess we'll start off this episode with a celebration. Moving ahead. But that's not what happened. Live a little. Let's see. Talk to the bard here. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Not really, I'm not much of a bard. Oh, come on. There must be something. Well... <laughs> Have you seen this body? It would be a crime not to sing about it. One raunchy ballad coming up. <laughs> Do you have it? Your song was coming along. Then things began spinning. Worry not, I shall return to it at first light. All right. Dr. Halsen. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Take your own advice, why don't you? Go on, mingle a little. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. <clears throat> Good set, Lawrence. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Come on, man, you gotta let the people sing. Bell's got some stuff to say. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades, yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. A glorious reward for a glorious battle. Go on, have your fun. And do not wipe away a single bead of sweat. It's intoxicating. Not gonna lie, guys. I think we're gonna... Next chance we get, I think we're gonna end the fling with Lazel. My kind of thing. Like to get a little bit closer to people. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. What exactly do you think you're doing skulking out here? Get your arse back to the party. <laughs> oh, the blade doesn't sulk. I was just reflecting on what has happened and so not weird. wanting to be Mr. Serious at a celebration. Freaking talking about himself in third person. 
Sounds like some pretty words for skulk sulking to me. I can say it even more nicely. I'm <clears throat> soberly pondering my state of affairs and not wishing to drag a single happy soul into a state of melancholy. These people are still in danger. Karlak, the creature from hell, will still threaten them. As will a thousand other perils. They aren't ready to get on the road on their own. You're right, but we need to give them hope. You're good at it. You've given me some just by being here. But off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. I wish you were there, but I'll respect your need for peace. Some time alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. I feel like this game uh, a little bit unnerving sometimes with just how many people, a little bit overwhelming with how it seems everyone's always like perpetually flirting with you. <laughs> at least that's my perception at least. Aha, there you are. Come now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. And by this you mean... Why, you're naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. <laughs> I already have a name. A wonderful one indeed. But your deeds loom larger than life now, my friend. You simply must have a title to match. <laughs> you have something in mind? Far too much. This is the very problem. If you could set aside your many triumphs, carry out one defining act, not to belittle your achievements to date, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps. Hmm. I must deliberate. Go, enjoy your evening. I shall have work for you in the days to come. Thank you. Spontaneous thank yous make me suspicious. Come now. This is a night for celebration, not suspicion. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. I like the sound of magical. What do you have planned? A lesson. And trust me when I say few have experienced the pleasure I offer to teach. However, it's something best experienced in more intimate surrounds. Once the revelry has ended and the stillness of the night has been restored. For now, please enjoy the celebration. When it is done, I will show you all. I don't think I signed up for that, but I did accidentally. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. <laughs> Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. I don't have a 
word. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Holy cow. We found that guy. We survive. That's always worth celebrating. Not everyone. We lost people, and it's like they don't even care. But I care. And I won't drink myself into a stupor to change that. Who did you lose, bro? I'm the one who freaking killed everyone. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Gale. You two looked... Cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Me? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean... Desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Hmm. Are you worried Char won't approve? Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? <laughs> Just the bottle? Just a bottle. I think you have other plans afterwards. Wouldn't want to keep you. Well, maybe I would. But first come, first served. Maybe those plans could change for the right person. Shadowheart says nothing, but the glimmer of interest in her eyes is unmistakable. Mm, I ain't like that, though. I don't suppose you'd consider some sort of shared arrangement? Not tonight. I should honor my first arrangement. As you like. Try not to tire yourself out too much. That hurts me. I want you guys to know that even when I play as a female, I literally never pursue the male romances. It's just, uh, it's not my thing, you know? Um, for anyone out there who it is their thing, you know, no, no shame to you, but for me, it's, it's not my thing. I just never, I'm never interested in it. I know some other people, you know, like when they play as their character, they're able to detach, but for me, I find it difficult to, to do that. But if there's anything that I like to stick by, it's my word. So if I say, even for NPCs in a game, so if I say that I'm going to be with somebody, even though it was an accident, I'll honor my word. It'll be definitely an interesting. It'll be a new experience for me. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. <laughs> what are you doing way over here? Watching a bunch of old folks get dumber by the dram for. And when they run dry, I've got a few bottles tucked away to keep things flowing. Price, no way. Of what the heck? This kid's actually is running a business. All right. Well, I think we're done here. I think we talked to everybody. It is we talked to. But I guess all there is now is to end the night. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? I mean, I guess I'll go to Your Gale. heart skips a beat. What treasures might this I mean, night not, bestow? I guess, it's just like 
wasn't aware that you could just like, go to sleep. <laughs> Pretty. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. you wanted to show me something. Was that it? What just happened? I trust you enjoyed your evening. After what all your happened? efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. Uh, there okay. is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I was expecting more from you than a lead toward some distant, dangerous prospects. I won't be held accountable just because you're naive enough to expect easy answers. Now, allow me to continue. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, Dangerous souls. And the absolute forces can tolerate such a place? So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Hmm. I found the hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. The way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. That is so weird. I don't know if you guys can hear that too when you're in, but it's... um. It sounds like sometimes he's like super bass boosted, bass boosted, and other times he's like the audio quality for his, uh, for Halzen is so off. So I think it's not just Halzen; it's actually a lot of characters. Uh, okay. Anyway, what about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Who? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oakfather's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Hmm. 
Won't this cause resentment? Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Ready. Um. So let's take a look at our log here. Travel through the mountain pass. Or we can go through the Underdark, which we discovered the secret door to. In a temple. We've already been down there. And we finished this quest. Be here with, uh... Got a heart. It says, to find the Dark just this year's lair. The Dark Druid Halzen described how there was once an army, entire army of Dark Justiciers Dark Justiciers that waged war against followers of Salunit long ago. The rights of becoming a Dark Justicier are no mean you must have a substantial lair in order to train in a force of supplies. Shadowheart has shown interest in finding the lair of the Dark Justiciar, an elite force dedicated to her goddess Shar. We did know that already, though. So I guess we'll go through the Underdark path. These are all our quests. Treat Gale's condition. Search for the Githyanki Circle, or Kresh, hunt down Karlak. These are all things that we can do here. That book that we found that we still have our inventory. Okay. Alright. Well. Let's go talk to Gale. Let's go see what's going on there. I feel like game might have accidentally skipped like the entire cutscene or something there. Go ahead. I'm listening. Huh. I feel like we missed out on something like that was such a weird cut. I, I don't know if we'll be able to um, see that again. But certainly there's like so many things in this game like every single time we miss something either by by accident, like what happened with Gale there, or maybe with, um, what is her name? I'm forgetting her name, though I'm always sad about it. Uh, Mayrina. With Mayrina, um, with Mayrina, which is not an accident, well, I mean, we just kind of messed up there. There's just so much replayability with this game, you can go back and have different dialogue options and just one small thing I kind of want to go back and do like a whole playthrough just to see that one outcome. Everything is so well written. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? You seemed intrigued when Halzen mentioned dark dark justiciers with I was. He mentioned dark justiciers and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Okay. Speak. The light bell. Speak. Um, I'm ending our fling, if one can call it that. One couldn't, and one shouldn't. Do as you like. The loss is not so much mine as yours. No more sex? Got it. You made it abundantly clear. Alright, let's talk to Halson, see if he has any. Oakfather's blessings to you. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. 
Why do you want to go to Moonrise Towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Dude, how old is this guy? Seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Catherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. And is that why you went with Eridin? You thought he might find his route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. Final one. At the celebration with the tieflings last night, I hope I didn't come over too strong. Got caught up in the moment. <clears throat> there are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. Honestly, let's just forget it ever happened. Of course. Whatever you wish. Dang. Been just shutting down all the dudes. Alright, for anyone who's interested in seeing that. I know, I, I mean, honestly, I was kind of intrigued of what was going to happen with Gale yesterday, but, uh... My eyes are kind of set on Shadowheart right now. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself right, comfortable. Let's... Thank you so much. I don't want to talk to him about that. I know I like that option that keeps popping up, but I don't want to talk to him about search. I, sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought there. Let's go ahead and the camp. So here we are in the bog here. Saying that we can get through the Underdark again. There's a secret entrance inside of the... Uh, of the hags place there. I think though, since we did spend like so much time inside of the encampment, I think we're gonna ahead and just like end the video early here. I know it's only gonna be about like a 30 minute video, so about 10 minutes shorter than our normal ones, but I figure it'd probably be easier for those of you who wanna care more about like the action part or overarching story. I uh, don't really care too much about like the camp and companion stuff. I guess we'll just skip this episode probably. Um, put something in the title so it's clear. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And today's question is, if animals could talk, which species do you guys think would be the rudest of all of them? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day.